Welcome! In this video we will talk about a regular key and why you should or why you could use that. So for the setup here I've got two accounts. I've got this account, the RF account and account with RH. It, I'm right now on the testnet and I would recommend to everybody who wants to try it out to also first try it on testnet and then replicate it on the mainnet. Um, so what is the idea of a regular key? Um, generally speaking, the idea is that you have an account which can send and sign transactions, which is fine. Um, but you can also give another account the ability to sign for your account. Meaning that, for example, if you, for example, have two accounts, then it would be wise, for example, if you have one account, for example, let's, let's say the RF account is an account which, uh, which for example, let's say is uh, a hardware wallet, so let's say a Ledger Nano, or a Descent wallet, or a Trezor, or whatever, and that this account would be considered, well, let's say, more secure. So that at least the seed phrase or the family seed is being kept more secure compared, for example, to this account, let's say the RH account. Let's say that this account is a sum wall, which is also very safe, obviously, but uh, just comparing those here. And let's say, for example, you didn't back up, let's say that the RH account, like says is a sum wallet, and you didn't back up the secret and you lost it, and also your phone got, is broke, and if that is the case, then you have no no way of accessing this account ever again. So that's why you can go to account and go to signers. So uh, and you can set the so-called regular key. So in this case, I will quickly change account here. I will copy the address of the other account, change back to the previous account with the RH, go to account signers, and I can now set a regular key. And now I enter the, the classic address of the other account. So like I said, this is the address of the Trezor, the decent wall, or whatever. Please make sure that you enter your own address. So if you enter somebody else's address, it's not good because otherwise the person can take all your funds. So please make sure that you do that correctly here. So on the account you want to <clears throat> want to secure, well, secure. Uh, on the account you want to well add this additional layer of access more or less. It doesn't add safety, but it's just an additional layer of access. So like I said, for the case uh, that let's say like I said that the RH account is a sum wallet and you lost the family seat and your phone is broke, uh, so your phone broke down and you can't access anything anymore, then the account would be lost more or less. But like I said, you can set it up that way. Then you can access this account from the um from the uh oh my bad from the uh, decent wallet from the high wallet so then you just click on the update and confirm the transaction and after you've done that everything is the same so nothing changes for this account this account can, account can do everything just the usual way but with one addition that the other account if you change to that one here that this account can sign for the other one and uh, now I just have to check again from Fawcett's the other secret. And um, now let's say, for example, now I'm going to remove both accounts again. So we set the regular key and it's obvious. And now I'm going to show you how you can even sign with the, with the XOP toolkit. So now I'm going to remove both. Um, and also let's change the setup. So like I said, let's say this is, like I said, the sum wallet. I would keep a little bit less on that one, for example. So let's say this, this, this is the send wallet. I would send most of my XOP over to my hard wallet. So let's say, for example, in this case, uh, um, let's send like 80%, so most of the funds over there. You can see, let's say, like I said, that this is my sum wallet. So, and on the other one, I've got my descent wallet, like I said, and now I'm gonna log out. And now let's say, like I said, uh, let's log out. And now we're in the case that I only have access to the, oh, it's the incorrect one, my bad. Now let's say that I have only access to this address here. Like I said, we, we've lost access to some wallet, we only have that one here, and we, we're now, uh, well, we now, well, we're annoyed a little bit, we can't access a some wallet ever again, and that's not good. And now I'm gonna show you how you can do that if you set the regular key. So you can, you, now you just need the address of the sum wallet. So you can also check it out because there's a transaction where you can see added this regular key, so you can look it up. And now I'm gonna copy the address. And now you go to the XRP toolkit again, click on add account, and we will just add the account by address. You don't have to enter anything here, you can add it, and the XRP toolkit automatically detects, um, so I did incorrectly, my bad. Oh yeah, I copied the wrong address though, um, because it's not the RF, it's the RH, that one here. So now you just copy the other address and add it here. 
And now the other account was added by Alias. So we didn't enter any secret and we don't have whatever. But the good thing is now that the, the, the XMP Toolkit knows that this account, uh, so if you change here, that this account set a regular key. So we can see here that this account has a regular key and it knows that the other one is added correctly and already is able to sign. So if I now would try, for example, like I said, let's say we've lost access, so now we'd delete, for example, the account. Or also if I still want to do transactions, well, I can delete it now, but let's do a transaction here. It will send the remaining funds to my other address. So I'm going to change again and copy the address and change again. And now I want to save the, the rest of the funds because like I said, we lost access uh, on, on the sum app and I might create a new account. Then I can go to next. And it's now it's always saying that it's not able to do that. But we can still, now I'm just going to enter the secret of the of this account here, of the other one, and it's fine. And now we can just click on next and now it works. So I, I, I didn't enter the secret of the sum wallet. It's just the other account. And now my, uh, the RH account is doing the, so the other one is doing the signing. So I'm just gonna confirm now. So this account here is right now doing the signing. So it's, it's taking the secret of this wallet here. So it didn't log in for that. And yeah, that's how that works here. So you can see again, so if it log out one more time, or well, I'm gonna try one last time now. I'm just gonna log into my one account. So you usually can log in with your family C, so usually you log in with your sum app or DSUM, whatever. Like I said, now you're uh, on the one wallet and now we need to, now we want to sign for the other account and we add the other account um, by the address. So again, we'll just have to look at uh, what the other address is. In this case, the other address is RF, whatever thing. Nope, again, RH, it was RH. That one here, so I'm gonna copy that, go to add account, I'm gonna add it by address. And if I change to the other account, it will require me, if I, well, I can't do anything yet because I don't have anything, well, I don't have enough funds anymore because I've sent everything away though. So I'm just gonna send some back now. I think it's that one here, yep. So also a cool feature which we really like is when I send XOP from one from a main account to the other account, you can see here that the regular key is displayed. So if, if that address matches your destination, so your sender, then you know that you can't do anything wrong because if you do, you can also transfer it back. But now I'm just gonna send some XOP from my decent wallet, whatever, legendary wallet, to the uh to the sum wallet account. And like I said, now this is still read only. So if I try to send something, it doesn't work. So I'm going to try it again. So I'm going to send to my main account back again. And if I try that, it's going to ask me for the secret and it automatically detects that. So it knows that I have this account here as the regular key and it does perform it without asking. And yeah, that's how it works. So thanks for watching. I hope I explained clearly how it works and see you in the next video.